truce. Woo, truce in the building. What's good? I was gonna do a, a skit today, but I think I'm gonna hold off. Uh, I'm gonna hold that off until a little later on in the week. I never sit in this chair really. This chair. Gotta get deal on this chair, man. I don't really never sit in this chair. This is like the therapist, therapeutic chair that's in my office that I just never really use, you know. I want to talk about Craig Craig Wright um, with this his loss with the court case thing. Um, I was I was really thinking today. Do I really think that he has the keys to the to, to, to that crypto? You know, and if he does, you know, is he going to get just dumped on the market like all at once or whatnot? One, I don't, I don't think he has it for a lot of different reasons. You know, if he wants to prove so bad that he's Satoshi, I mean, it's super. Anybody that's halfway knows anything about crypto will understand how easy it would be to prove that to sign something with the with the um, with the key. I mean, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I guess he has to pay half of the bitcoins or whatever. But fifty percent of nothing is is just nothing. If he can't move, if he doesn't have them, then what does what that what does that even mean? Like there's nothing there. It's also funny how they always use when they talk about the bitcoins that they want him to pay. They always refer to uh, the. Um, the dollar amount price, the five billion, or you know, the total amount is ten billion, stuff like that. They're still not giving Bitcoin. It's Bitcoin. You know, one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. Like they still, and maybe it makes for a click titles or whatever. But like that's one thing I was thinking. I was like, dude, stop saying that he owes five billion dollars. Like, just say that he owes the Bitcoin. But you know, I guess everybody's not there yet. I don't know. And then, like I said, I guess. Does that prove that he was a part of, you know, I, I do, I think he was a part, he, he was definitely had something to do with it going on back then, but as far as him controlling those keys, nah. So let's say that he does, which I don't even know I'm entertaining this, but let's say if he does, he has to give up half of them. I read something about how there has to be some taxes paid or something like that, and therefore they would need two billion dollars, um, or two million, I don't, I don't remember, but basically it'd be a lot, and they would have to dump the bitcoins and sell it for U.S. dollars to pay for the taxes or something. Like, dog, no. Nah. Like, it's just, I don't know, the whole thing is just, uh, and, you know, time's going to tell because in the in the bull runs, bitcoin never really drops below like 40% on a dip. And this is so weird that when we dropped below 6,000, it was right around when the whole Craig Wright, the, the, the bitcoin cash hash war, the uh, bitcoin SV, power fork and all this or whatever and we dropped so we came down out the bear market then we dropped again and then the chart kind of you know it's starting to get stagnant stagnant again and then this whole thing with Craig is with Craig Wright is coming up again you know it could drop from there you know I don't know but I do think that if we drop below 40 percent from our previous uh, local all-time high around 13800 or whatever we hit I think that uh we could it could be going lower if that happens I mean but I, I'm buying crypto every day, so but I would definitely be excited to get some cheaper Bitcoin. I'm not gonna lie. And people say, well, don't get too excited because if it goes too low, that means it might not recover, recover, come back. This is definitely if this is anything, this is the bull run, the bull market. I mean, not bull run. We're not there yet. That won't happen until probably 2021. But we're definitely in the in the bull. And uh, yes, I know. I can hear you guys on the other side of the camera. The speculation is bigger. Okay. Well, either speculate with me or get off my video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but um, yeah, this is this is the this is the bull market. So you know, if we get another, if we see another right, if this breaks to the upside, then or confirmed even more. I mean, jeez, I mean, I don't know how, how much confirmation you need. And even if it does dip, you can't escape the fundamental mathematics of stock to flow ratio and network growth and uh, you know limited supply. Bitcoin having on its way, which has got me pretty excited to see how this is going to play. A lot of people are saying all-time highs before the having. I, I don't think it's going to be all-time highs again until after the having. I could be totally wrong. I hope that the all-time high doesn't come again until after the having, because I'm definitely still in the accumulation phase, which we're out of. I feel like we're out of that 
the real accumulation phase, but we'll see, y'all. We will see. I want to see a look on his face when the judge he, like gave the vertical when they figured it out. Like, and then I was thinking, I was like, like, what would I do if I was in that situation? <laughs> and I saw that post on, uh, oh, shout out to Bitcoin Jake. Oh, nine. He um he covered the um, top Reddit, and, and one of the posts was talking about how <laughs> Craig Wright was like, when he went to that country, he was like, yeah, I've got more money than your whole country, and now he's in more debt than their whole country. That was freaking hilarious. Speaking of hilarious, um, make sure you subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. I do comedy skits and stuff like that. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I have a new schedule where I put out one of five different types of videos every week. I uh, kind of mix and match tomorrow. Basically by Friday, you guys will have a regular skit coming, a live stream, and I guess this is kind of my camera talk right here. So um, you'll, I'll, I'll also probably do a throwback Thursdays. Um, but... Other than that, uh, how y'all been doing out there? You know what I'm saying? Y'all holding it down? I appreciate it. I don't know. See, I never did a... I should do a 500 subscriber video. That's what I need to do. I need to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, I gotta do that. And I need to do... Um, or should we wait till 600? But I need to do that. I need to do an intro video to where I can... What I'm gonna do is... You guys are gonna see this coming. I'm gonna summarize like some of the clips from my channel into one video and give it um, a little bit of commentary but I'm gonna make it like a quick short video and I'm gonna put it on the featured videos on my channel so that when new people come to the channel they see that they kinda know what, what my videos and stuff are about so I think that'd be pretty dope I always been saying I wanna like get out the house and vlog like out the house but like and I be getting off work and sometimes I just be like, man, like today I was like, like I got two skit ideas in my head, but um, I just came, came home. I was like, man, and like, I don't like performing if I don't got that right energy. You know, it's like, I, I gotta have that right energy to really put on because I'm not about to half step, you know. And I'm kind of, uh, well, I wouldn't say I'm lying, but like, I, I had the energy a little bit, but then I started doing a few other things and, and I, then I was like, man, I'm, I'm <laughs> I got two skits in my head. I think I know which one I'm going to do versus the other one. I might do it tomorrow. I don't know. Got to stay tuned, you know. Um, and I want to start dropping some kind of video on the weekend, you know. <sighs> then I was like, man, if I film what I'm doing throughout the week, I mean, what am I really doing now, you know? I mean, I'm shooting videos. I mean, pff, I need to get out the, probably get out the house a little bit more. I don't know. What, you know, like. It's it's like it's not like what I'm doing is it's more like what am I planning to do? It's like I have to plan something and then do it almost, you know. But we'll see as time as time rotates, we'll get that all figured out. I've been seeing a lot of videos about alts, obviously. So my opinion on that is, um, you know, buy low, sell high. Alts are low right now, so you do the math. You know, that's not financial advice. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I mean, and I can say I love, I'm a comedian. I don't, I'm not a TA channel, so I can say whatever. And if it don't work, if it don't happen, whatever. But I think I think we're gonna break to the upside. I think we are because of the the uh, the trend of not having more than a forty percent drop. And I I, I think this is kind of interesting because uh, what was this? Crypto Daily was talking about one time about how he thinks or how he showed that. The futures, um, the futures chart when it, it always makes a gap and Bitcoin price always comes back down to fill the gap. And the last gap was at 8500 and we have not filled that gap yet. So if we do go up and we never touch 8500 again, it will be the first time that there was no gap filled, which is kind of weird, which is not impossible. But it's, I was thinking about that. I was like, eh, you know, maybe we could briefly see 8500 And if we go down, if we do drop... I think the snapback from that is going to be tremendous and a lot faster. So, something to think about. And last but not least, um, I was thinking about how I always go back and look at the Bitcoin chart. And like you notice on the chart, during, especially after the accumulation phase, there's these times in the chart, every single phase, where it's like, 
you look at that chart and you just pick a price and then you just draw that parallel line and you realize that on that day, the Bitcoin price never went back to that price. It never went back. And I think that's, and it's, it makes me think like, hmm, is today one of those days? You know, was, you know, was the last low, was that one of those days? In the future, are we going to look back on that day and be like, you know, at one point, at some point, we're, you know, we're going to be on a day where that was the lowest that you're ever going to get Bitcoin ever again. And we really don't even know it. So that's, I was thinking about that today too. I think that was pretty interesting. And I was thinking about how, I can't remember who I heard this from. This isn't, this isn't original, but they were basically saying that Bitcoin has to be worth exponentially, exponentially almost an infinite amount or zero. Like, it can't be in between because of the supply and stuff like that. Like, it either has to be worth absolutely nothing or it's going to straight up rocket way beyond what you can ever even imagine. It's going to just completely take over total global system. Like, Truce's channel is going to completely take over YouTube and Steam it and Instagram.